you should commentate instead of me. Honestly. All right, if you want to, if you want to switch out, come, come take this. Come, I'm actually so bad at commentary. Come take this. This is the only good thing that came out of today. It's getting way too cold in here. It is getting a little cold. I'm, I'm sorry. There's a window open over there. Yeah. Who decided to open that window? These, are these windows open? Oh my god, are these windows? Are these open? I can't tell. Uh, these are not open. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, here we go. Uh, we're commentating now. Yo. Blade Wise going up against Iceman. So these guys are both from Washington. Uh, yep. Ranked second and third on the PR. Iceman. Fifth? Evan is fifth. I think. Is he fifth? Uh, well, no, he's, okay. he's fourth. He's fourth. Who is up ahead of him? Um, currently, Vish. Oh, Vish is not on the PR anymore. Well, yeah, the new PR that comes out is has Chip. Has who? Chip. 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 The oh, 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 wait, wait. Oh, no, that's the wa overall Washington PR. Yeah, what PR are you thinking of? Okay. I was thinking of the Washington PR. Oh. <laughs> but, like, well, Chip has never been on the PR because he's Eastern Washington. Yeah, he is now because he's been traveling. Right. And so okay, yeah, that makes perfect enough. sense. So So he maintains his fourth place. Yeah, so Evan is forever fourth, but these guys play all the time. Yeah, and I heard that he took a set off of him somewhat recently. I, I am not sure if Evan has taken a set before. I don't know. He he definitely takes games. He will we'll probably see them play on Yoshi's Story and... There's a pretty good chance that Evan will win that one. Um, Evan actually finds leads a lot when they play, um, but Teddy is kind of clutch. Well, um, his punish game is frightening, Iceman's. It is. His punish even game on, is, even is on Peach, good. it's very, very good. Um, he, because he plays with Teddy so much, he knows how to make it hard, at least, for Peach, and then he definitely knows how to put on damage. Usually if he gets an opening and does it correctly, he'll get 70 or 80%, which is pretty good. <clears throat> the thing is, he really knows how to zone with Marth once he gets a combo going. Mm -hmm. And it, it's like comboing and zoning at the same time. That was a Marth. really good turnaround up till, to get the kill. That's the hardest part in this matchup, is Marth getting the kill. I think getting a kill on Peach, unless you're like Fox... Oh is pretty difficult in general because mm -hmm. if you don't hit that that magic percent where you can Maybe combo so. her to death then you just have to tr do that yeah. one trade which is very which is difficult to do peach peach likes being at 100 plus percent in this because she can't mark can't combo into a kill which is yeah i mean like 90 percent of the characters can't combo her into a kill yeah when she's up at 100 plus yeah so when peach gets that high martha's looking for an up tilt even I mean, forward tilt will kill. Killing in this matchup is so hard that sometimes they're looking for a forward air off the top kill at 190, 180. Yeah, they're looking for uh, the forward air, the up tilt. And the thing is, like, I always kind of see, I always see Teddy getting to that percent somehow. Yeah, he always, he yeah, he never dies before that. It's pretty important. Yeah, and by Teddy we mean Blade Wise. Blade Wise, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he always does. He always gets a get to that percent. I think he just makes sure he manipulates the combos. He says, "Okay, I know I'm gonna get hit this many times, yeah. and I'm gonna take so much percent, but I'm gonna DI it in such a way that they won't be able to finish mm -hmm. it, and then they won't be able to do a second combo like that, and they're not gonna be able to yeah. finish me with that one either." A good advice piece of advice he gave me a lot when I was pretty new is he. It was about the Sheik matchup, but it's the same thing. It's sometimes they're gonna hit you. And you just have to let that happen. Mm -hmm. um, and so Teddy will, he'll give up damage, but he won't ever give up the kill. Yeah, like that's, I think that's a, something that's really important, just especially in today's metagame, is just to understand that sometimes you're just going to eat damage like nobody's business, and you just have to accept oh it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Bladewise takes game one. In hilarious, classic Bladewise Iceman fashion. Well, no, in, on uh, Bladewise's favor right now. They're definitely... 
So here's our Yoshi's. This game. is not top 16 losers. This My is bad. top six. This is winners semis. Yeah, this is winners semis. Number one and number four seed. So this stage actually isn't. It's not too bad for Peach. She dies a lot earlier, but with anyone that she's going to fight on this stage, her punish game, that's another of her. Her punish game gets a lot easier because there's nowhere to run and the platforms work pretty well. Yeah, I mean, if you go for her on a platform, wow. you will probably eat a down smash. That's kind of the thing. Uh, I mean, they call Fountain of Dreams Fountain of Down Smash yeah. because of the low platforms. Similar concept here. Some of the lowest platforms in the game. See, here... <laughs> See, here's another Bladewise Iceman shenanigan. Turn around up to on Randall. And more Randall. Wow, That's the, these two always have the most ridiculous sets. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Rand Randall was about to help for like yeah. the third time in a row. Sometimes it works out like that. Because it's every, I think it's every six or five or six seconds that it appears. So sometimes your long edge guard situations keep putting you on the current, on the side of Randall. You'll go there. Oh, that's a good grab. That was nice. That was like a fox combo. That looked like a fox combo right there. I was like, that's something fox would do. Stop doing that with Peach. Oh, it's going to be some damage. Yeah. So almost all mark combos kind of just end at this percent. Like 80 max. Can't really combo her past that. And then, oh, wow. Here's Randall. Randall! You know he didn't mean to land on Randall right there. Yeah. Bladewise knew it too, so he took that opportunity. Turn up throw down. That's something we'll probably see a lot is wave land down smash. It's such a wacky option. Yeah, right? it kills Peach really early if you tip her down smash, but it's definitely really hard to hit. And it's quite laggy, so... I don't like. I don't understand how peaches get away with like air dodging. Yeah, well, no, with like double jumping back up onto the stage. Oh, yeah, and then oh, my God. <laughs> oh wow. Well, well her, her ledge back. options are so bad that the less bad ones become good. You know. Yeah. So, but like, I'm like, how does she get away with it though? I mean, I like, it's know. just like, okay, I'm gonna double jump back onto the stage. It's gonna take me about a million years to do so. Yeah. But somehow, it's because just like when Peach, I'm blade wise. I'm gonna. She hit likes you. to air dodge. You know, while she's in the air, out of combos and get back down to the ground. Yeah. And I was watching an Armada set, and the commentator. Oh my Ooh. God. Randall wow. again. <laughs> the commentator. He got a little. Anno he just said, "I can't believe Armada doesn't get punished for these air dodges. He air dodges so high, and Peach just kind of floats around, but he never gets punished. But she has pretty good aerial mobility, so it's hard to uh, tech chasing with Peach. I think it's also just expecting certain things from Peach. There's uh, there's a lot more of a mental aspect to Peach than from m some of more of the uh, the technical mechanical characters where you're like, this is the best Ooh, option, therefore I'm God. doing this. Yeah. And with Peach, you're like, well, I really only have two options, so I have to make them to believe I'm choosing option mm -hmm. B when I'm really going to go for option A. And cho and them choosing that I'm going to go for That's option the... option B will make them unable to come for option A. Yeah. That what we just saw was the classic blade wise he will sit in his shield and until you make a mistake ooh yeah this matchup it's the whole game is peach not letting or marth not letting peach get back to the ground and so it just becomes a big game of tricks when peach wow. is above marth oh see wow 174 on yoshi's story huh <laughs> oh, that DI. Randall! Oh. Nice call out. Wow, just Tomahawks the down smash. Mm -hmm. Grab his down smash. Oh. Should get another grab. Oh gosh. Tipper? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy. This is a long oh, match. What is Dang. happening? All right, she's All right, that, probably yeah, dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. All right, two one. Iceman always press that back. You notice how long that match was, though. That was a really you, even long on match. Yoshi's story. It was over four minutes long. So it just kind of kind of goes to show you. It's cold. It's a little cold, but it's not too bad. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh, this Randall is always involved. I think the whips it up. Randall, he is a he's a proactive member of the Smash yeah. community. This is the most I've, that last game was the most I've seen Randall involved in a game in quite a while. It was almost he almost uh, saved him three times yeah. in a row. It was like every time they were off the stage, Randall was there. I would like to see Iceman take the game. He always gets so close. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like in terms of just like from from a uh, a spectator port, a spectator perspective, I think Iceman is a little bit more fun to watch just because he is he's a ooh, ooh, yeah. ow. he's a more fast paced Marth and he just does a lot of cool oh, swaggy things that was a really such as this. Yeah. But then uh, Blade Wise, he's he's a much more like intellectual player. Yeah. And you just see his mind games at work, and you're like, wow. Yeah. Iceman had a really a great set against Eggs earlier with some combo video material. Yeah. He's he, he won that set. Yeah, he did. He definitely can put on a show. And I mean, like, honestly, he was playing very, very good. Yeah, he did play well. I'm not sure how Eggs is playing. Uh, he did play fantastically at Drop Zone. He did? He got fifth? Yeah, I believe he did get fifth. fifth. Top eight for sure. Man. Only losing to uh, Drug Fox and Bladewise, actually. All about getting this kill here. Every time. Wow. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Every time he doesn't get the kill it, and takes more percent, it just hurts so bad. Let's see. Yeah. That's why you never hang in the air versus Marth. And oh, man. And like at any given point, it's a bad idea to be in the air versus Marth. Yeah. Because you're always risking. You're Peach. always risking that sword coming out. Peach likes to stay on the ground. And pull turnips. Usually, Teddy or Bladewise doesn't. He doesn't pull as many turnips as most other peaches. So he definitely. He goes to. He takes to the skies a little bit. And he's a forward smasher too. That's the Bladewise. And I mean, there's also a side of Peach that is very easy to camp with by floating up in the corner of the stage. <laughs> you could do. Oh, that was another nair, but he. And that's a part of uh, Peach's game that every Peach player should be familiar with. If he not, I mean, like, definitely not to use all the time, but just to say I can use portions of this and mix it into my gameplay for, like, an overall better, yeah. better style. Peach, she can force you to play at her pace if you're not Fox. Yeah. I can't, like, I can't tell you how much I hate characters that force you to play at a different yeah, pace. It's they're just, they're beyond irritating. Peach is one of those, Puff is one of those, Samus. Yep. Mostly the floaties. Oh, wow, Ooh, that was man. very close. Yeah, they make you play their game. Oh, wow. Wow. Randall's on the other side, unfortunately. Nice. He's tech. been teching that turn of. Yeah, he has been doing that pretty consistently, Ooh. but Bladeway is dropping out with that Nair. That was a pretty good trade. Trading with Marissa B is actually kind of hard. That was, oh. It is. It is difficult. You have to fall down on it at a certain angle, and you have to have a hitbox Ooh. big enough. SD from to reach him. See how? It, oh wow. Shield stab. That was good. Let's see how much damage. Oh. Randall. Randall. A long match. Yep. Very patient. Wow, players. that grab. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this should be a, should be okay. This is uh, actually a set point. Oh. Whew. This is set point. Yeah, set point for Blade Wise. For Blade Wise. Yeah, that's he wins it. this, and he did. Moves on. There's the handshake. Oh, man. We get ourselves another match. Really close games as usual. Really? Okay. Toad was an accident. Some close games, though. It was fun to watch.